Hi everyone, today I'm going to work on the foreground grass uh, in my painting. I'm beginning with a mix of cadmium yellow and some, a little bit of cobalt blue. And I haven't mixed the paint too thoroughly. And I'm going to begin by using this light shade of green to place it close to the, the dark areas of these two cows on the right. Let's just change the colour a little bit. Let's add a little bit more blue. So when you're describing grass, um, if you're just starting out painting, it can be very tempting to just block in the entire area with green. But if you look at a field of grass, um, as with most things in life actually, there, there is a variation in colour and tone. And the, an easy way to, to deal with that when you're painting is to not use the same colour too, for too long. So I've got one shade of green here and you can I don't know how well it's coming out on camera, but I've used a different shade of green. It's only subtly different, but uh, in person there's a very clear difference between the green here and the green I'm applying now. And then I'll use that same second shade of green next to the chest of the animal and I'll add just a little bit more of the blue just a touch more and I'm going to use that to just better describe the space between the two forelegs of this cow on the left. Well, in, in the middle, I guess. The, to the left of this one is what I meant. And then that same colour I will use. See, I've already put the shadow area in here, so what I'll do now is just break up the line of that shadow area here and there with some little marks to indic indicate the grass. And we could do the same for this cow. Just a few to begin with. Okay, still with the same colour. I'm going to use that colour here on my uh, cow lying down in the sun. And I will actually put a reasonably solid block of green in here because that's on the edge of the painting. I don't really want the eye to be too drawn towards that, that region. OK, so now I'm increasing the amount of yellow in my green mix. And uh, I'm just going to add a touch of titanium white as well. And the most minuscule amount of cadmium red. So going back to the colour of grass, um, very, you know, if you ask people what colour is grass, almost everybody will say green, uh, uh, you know, and of course it is. But there are reds, there are oranges, there are yellows. Uh, there are lots of different colours in a typical field. And the more you look, uh, the more you'll see, and so the more interesting effects and images you can create by taking account of that. Now I've added some more titanium white uh, to my brush and you can see I haven't mixed the paint very well. In some areas I've got pure titanium white on my brush, in other areas I've got the green. I'm going to use that to put in some blades of grass along the bottom edge of this foreground cow. And then we'll just kind of scumble that across this foreground area here and there to pick out some regions where the sun is really catching the grass. And we'll use some of that for the blades of grass here as well. So we get a variation in the colour that we use to pick out different areas of the pasture.
Next I've added quite a lot of Silurian Blue to my mix and I'm going to use that to just pop in a hedge or a hedge line I should say. Across this middle ground. Just to define the, uh, the distant edge or the distant boundary of the field that these cows are occupying. And I haven't mixed the, the paint too well on my palette, so I've got some of the Silurian Blue almost in its pure form in different regions. And that's, that's quite intentional to kind of introduce some variation into the colour of the hedge we're depicting. Now that said, I've deliberately left that pale orange there because I want some contrast between the head of this cow and the, and the hedge. So what we're going to do in just a moment is add some orangey colour in here. So I've now mixed up some yellow ochre and titanium white and uh, let's use some of that in the still wet layer of paint that I've just put down. Let's see what kind of effect we get. Yes, I, I prefer I prefer that addition next to this middle cow. Uh, I like the I like the contrast between this colour and the blue I've got on the face of the cow. So we'll we'll keep going with that for the moment. And you can see that the, the application of wet paint, or the application of paint onto paint which is already wet, gives these nice mixing effects. The, idea, the, um, the thing is to, not work it, to, is to not overwork the paint too much. You don't want to end up with sort of a muddied region. You want these brush strokes to show. And I try to avoid, where possible, going around the outline of something in the foreground. So, generally speaking, I will make my brush strokes at roughly 90 degrees to the edge of the thing I'm painting around. And then, as the paint's running out of my brush, he said having just refreshed his brush, but it is running out again now, just going to use some dry brush effect to pick out the top edge of the hedge line there. There we go. Okay, so I think we'll leave that uh, there for today. I've worked up the, the grass area and the hedge because it's very important for the way I work to work on the painting as a whole. Because what I'm going to be able to do now when I come back is do uh, some detailed work on these cows to bring the painting much closer to completion. OK, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to tune in next time and please remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much again for watching.